Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to give you all a view as if you were driving here. Alright, clutch in. Put it in a second. Right off. Alright, you got going. You gotta be not sure where you're going to be driving. Maybe you can interrupt the spectator what you know for dinner. Back over here, right? Back there where all that dark area is, right back here. That's where it burn burn. I'm gonna set my tripod up. Got here, see y'all. 
can't 100 percent show you what it means, but all right. It's your loader. Uh, when you're picking your loader up from a down position, say your bucket is flat on the ground like that. As it raises up, your bucket stays completely level all the way up. A long self leveling, as your bucket, as your loader goes up, your buckets are going to keep tilting back like that. It's not going to stay level going up. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't know if you can really tell. But you can see all the stuff stays exactly in the same position it's at. But if it wasn't self leveling, when it would be going up, it would be kind of doing this here. We are kind of tilted it on the way up there. Check their water before I forget like last time. So park this thing always parked where if this thing takes off rolling, it hits a tree from the front or from the back and stops it from going in the pond. because you haven't got the feed yet but from one person it makes that half a person I'm just gonna jump over this fence here y'all see that fence there oh, here. there you go now you can see it Right there not on this side of the fence but around the corner going out the driveway on that side of the fence right where it stops
right here at the pump when it starts kicking. ground this way and you grab a hold of one of these electric fences you better expect to be jumping about 30 feet higher than you normally do or normally can do on top of probably pissing your pants and not knowing what happened for about five seconds
guess that is that.